does it mean? That's what we're going to find out. Now let's take the first step to finding out. Remember the piece we played at the beginning? That Wild West piece of music. Well, for one thing, it can't mean the Wild West for the simple reason that it was written by a fellow who never heard of the Wild West, an Italian named Rossini. Now, we think his music means cowboys and horses and the Wild West because we've been told so by so many movies and television shows. But Rossini really wrote this piece as an overture to an opera called William Tell, which is about people in Switzerland, which is pretty far from the Wild West. Well then, maybe the music's supposed to be about William Tell and Switzerland instead of about cowboys. Is that what it's about? No. It's not about William Tell or cowboys or lampshades or rockets or anything. Then what makes it so exciting? Well, there are a million reasons. But they're all musical reasons. That's the main point. For instance, take the rhythm, to get up, to get up, to get up, that up, which is like the rhythm of galloping horses, or like the rhythm of drums in a battle. But that doesn't mean that the music is about drums or horses or battles. The meaning is only the excitement of that rhythm, you see? Now, another reason it's exciting is that it has a mighty fine tune one that's easy to remember and stirs your blood. It starts with a phrase going up, and answers itself with a phrase going down. It's like a question and answer. Or maybe it's more like an argument with the second person winning it. Uh, let's ha try and have that argument, you and me, and see who wins. I'm going to sing the first phrase, and you're going to argue back with the second phrase, to get up, to get up, 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 up. And I'm going to argue back again with the third phrase, to get up, to get up, to get up, to get up, And you're going to wind it up with the fourth phrase, to get up, to get up, up, up. Okay, ready, go. To get up, to get up, to get up, up, up. To get up, to get up, to get up, up, up. You win. You see? You see how exciting that last phrase is? To get up, to get up, up, up. It has all the excitement and triumph of winning an argument. It makes you feel good. But there are still more reasons why this music is exciting. For instance, the way it's played, the instruments that play it, like those trumpets at the beginning. Or the violins, who use their bows in a jumping way to make that galloping sound. Would you show us, Mr. Corigliano? You see? Now, when all the strings do that together, it really gallops. Watch. So you see, this music is exciting because it was written to be exciting. For musical reasons and for no other reasons.